Okay, beautiful people. So today I'm going to take the Urban Decay Potion Primer and I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the lids. And now I'm going to set that with ES67. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites Palette by Morphe. I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over the lid. Now I'm going to take ES62 and go ahead and just put that in my crease. And you want to just go back and forth and in circles and a little bit above the crease also so it can blend nicely. Now I'm going to take these eyeshadow shields and line them up so I can have a sharp look with the wing liner. And then now I'm just going to go ahead and carry on with the same shadow, ES62. And then I'm going to just go ahead and do the other eye and just blend it out. Now I'm going to take ES64 and I'm going to go ahead and just put that in the crease and just blend back and forth. Now I'm going to take ES 14 and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the crease also just so it can blend well. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and then now I'm going to take ES 19 and then I'm going to take a flat brush and spray it with Fix Plus and then I'm going to go ahead and just pat that all over the eye. It's a really dark green. It's a very pretty shadow. It has a little shimmer in it. It's very nice. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to go back with the same ES64 and I'm going to just go ahead and blend that in my crease and all together, like all the colors together so there's no hard lines and it just looks very smooth and blended. And then I'm also going to take ES24. It's a brown, but it also has like a little red tint to it. It's like a clay color, like a red clay color kind of. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that in my outer eye and like a V shape and then into the crease. And you want to make sure you just take little by little and just take your time. And now I'm going to take this pencil brush and I'm going to take the NYX black shadow and I'm also going to do the same thing in the outer corner of your eye and then make like a V shape into the crease. You want to do that also little by little. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Just make sure you blend that. And now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to go ahead and just blend it all together. Make sure it looks nice and smooth. And now I'm going to take the NYC liquid liner and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And today I'm going to do a thicker, dramatic wing liner. And now I'm going to just remove the eyeshadow shields. Look at how clean that looks. I love it. Now I'm going to take ES4. It's a highlighting shade. It has like a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm going to apply that to my brow bones. Now I have my eyelash curler. And you're just going to curl your lashes. Now I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I'm going to do a light layer. Now I'm going to take my lash glue and I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. They're their Audel Wispies Double Ups. They have a thick band, but all you got to do is apply eyeliner on top so you can hide the band and then just makes it nice and clean. Now I take my Maybelline eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my waterline on top. It's so irritating. I hate this part. It makes my eye water. And now I'm going to take the Professional by Benefit and put that on my cheeks. Now I'm going to take the Nivea Men's Shade Balm and just put that over the face. It makes it sticky so it's like a face primer. And then I take Studio Finish Concealer in W30. That's my shade. It's by MAC. And I apply that under my eyes where I have dark circles. And I also bring it up by the eyeliner to make it more sharp and cleaner and you can put it where any redness you have or any blemishes you have take your beauty blender and go ahead and blend that all out make sure you blend it well now take studio fix fluid and my shade is C45 and I'm going to press that in with a brush and I'm going to take Maybelline Age Rewind and my color is light to pale. I use this to highlight, so you want a lighter shade than you are, so 
I can highlight and make it look brighter. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my nose and forehead under the eyes. And then you just want to blend that out with a beauty blender. I learned this technique in a Sephora class, so you guys should go check them out online. Now I'll take the Lori Mercier translucent powder and you apply that under your under eyes so your concealer doesn't crease. My creases anyways, but it really does help. Now I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take my Smashbox contour palette and I'm going to take the bronzing shade and I'm going to apply that on my forehead while I wait for my under eyes and you just want to apply that close to your hairline so it blends well and apply that to your cheeks again all the way to your hairline just make sure you go back and forth so it doesn't look too harsh and under the neck now I'm going to take my Smashbox brush it comes with a palette and I'm going to take the darker color it's a contour shade and you just want to take that and contour your cheeks where your cheekbones would be and you just want to take that to the hairline and don't you don't want to drag it too down far but like in the middle and now I'm going to just go ahead and take out the extra powder that I have on and then now I'm going to take the darker shade and put it on the side of my nose to contour my nose you just want to just make sure you take it all the way up to the eye so it's nice and blended and now I'm going to take the lighter shade in the palette and I'm going to go ahead and just go over the places where I highlighted on the forehead and nose under the eyes and chin and you just want to so it brightens it up and makes it look brighter like you're more awake and I need that <laughs> and now I'm just going to blend it all out now I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush palette and I'm going to go ahead and take these two shades and I'm going to mix them. It's like a dark bronzing shade almost and a dark rose shade. They're really pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cheeks. Now I'm going to take this fan brush and I'm going to use Becca Opal and I'm going to highlight my face. And you can get value packs or packs of brushes from Sam's Club and they're really affordable they're like ten dollars for I think I got maybe seven brushes and they work very very well I really recommend them and then I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my cheekbones and I applied it to my nose and now I'm going to take this pencil brush and all the brown shades that I used on top that's what I'm going to use on the bottom so it's ES64, ES14, and ES24. You can go buy all the single shadows on morphebrushes.com. They're really affordable too. And their brushes are really affordable. And then you're just going to go ahead and apply that little by little. You just want to take your time with that. Now you're going to take the Urban Decay eyeliner and I'm going to put that on my waterline on the bottom. And then now I'm going to take this pencil brush again and I'm going to use the NYX black shadow and I'm going to go ahead and put that close to my waterline, like as close as you can get without poking your eyeball out. <laughs> so be careful, please do not poke your eyeball out. <laughs> so now I'm going to take the L'Oreal telescopic and carbon black and go ahead and do my bottom lashes. And then now I'm going to take a clean brush and get opal again and put it in my inner corner of my eyes to brighten up the look. And now I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX lip liner in Pinky Rose. And I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I also, um, I also fill them in so your lipstick lasts longer. It's a great way for it to last like all day and it stains your lips just a heads up <laughs> and now I'm going to take this wet and wild lipstick it's like a bright orange but it also has like a little bit of red in it it's my favorite color for summer it makes you look tanner too 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like the look. I was inspired by a tropical plant that I saw. So please comment down below, like and subscribe. Any suggestions on any videos you'd like me to do in the future? Um, I'll be happy to reply back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye.